gym exercises that will get you better at calisthenics. What? Most gym exercises won't necessarily improve your calisthenics, but these definitely will. And I bet you've never tried these before. These exercises will break down the hardest parts to some of the most advanced calisthenics skills, like the pushing part of the full planche or the pulling part of the high pull-ups, and focus on building strength in those specific areas by separating and emphasizing on the intended muscle group and by mimicking the movement paths. Using the equipment and the machines, you'll find right in the gym. Starting off with the first exercise, straight arm lat pull downs plus hold using the cable machine. This move greatly improves your front lever, specifically to build the strength to be able to raise your body into the front lever position with your arms straight and locked out. This is also the main movement path that's required for the front lever. When doing an actual front lever, you'll need to do a lat pull down from a hanging position and lift your entire body weight with your arms straight into a horizontal position. Doing it with the lat pull down machine, you'll be able to focus more on engaging your intended muscle groups like your lats, rear delts, lower back, and your abdominals, and increasing those repetitions to really focus on the specific part of the the front lever. Without a machine, the only other options you have is doing a regression or progression to the front lever, but I find this to be really effective when doing it with a machine, especially because you can go up smaller increments in weight, filling in the gaps between the progressions. To perform this exercise, you want to have a solid grip, slight overgrip, scapula is retracted and brought down, squeezing your core, engaging your lats, leaning back slightly at an angle, having a staggered strong stance in your legs, you're going to pull the bar down, meet your quads, and come right back up. And when working this exercise, you want to control the ascension as well as the descension. You can also change up the form and not have your scapulas retracted back, but rather protracted forward. And with your feet together and your body in a straight line, mimicking the position of a planche. And doing your lat pull downs in this position will improve skills like handstand to full planche and back up. All right, this next one is gonna be really effective at building your strength for your high pull ups and your muscle ups. That's gonna be bent arm lat pull downs with your elbows in on a cable machine from a kneeling position. This exercise is gonna emphasize on your lats, delts, back, and your abdominals. Specifically emphasizing on building the strength for the high pulling motion to your waist waistline that's required for the high pull-up and the muscle up. I love this exercise because you don't have to do high pull-ups to improve your high pull-ups by doing this exercise. You're simulating the same exact movement path when you're pulling from the bar, explosive enough and with the entire range of motion to reach your waistline. And this exercise is great if you're recovering from an injury, if you're warming up for your high pull-ups, or if you want to create a drop set for your high pull-ups, or if you don't yet have the strength to be able to do high pull-ups and want to build up that strength. When doing this exercise, I can feel the same muscles firing and engaging the same way when I'm doing the actual high pull-ups. And that's why I really really love this move. Because again, just like every other exercise on this list, you're simulating the exact movement paths needed for these specific advanced skills that you may not be getting from doing your recreational gym exercises. And because this exercise is lighter than my body weight, I can emphasize more on a better quality contraction while also adding more reps and really focusing on improving that movement path. So to do this exercise, we're going to start off again with a solid grip and make sure you're directly under the cable machine so that the pulling motion is more realistic. You want to have your arms slightly bent with your elbows in, then lean back into position the same position as the first exercise, retracting your scapulas, engaging your lats and your back, mimicking the position of an active dead hang on the bar, ready for an explosive muscle up or high pull up. From there, you can bend your arms, keep your elbows in and begin to lat pull down. And as you lat pull down, try to keep the same movement path all the way down to your hip line. This is not a pull up. You're not pulling in with your arms. You're just keeping your arms in the same position and using your lats to come all the way down to your hip line and then all the way back up, controlling the ascension as well as the descension. The next exercise is gonna be single arm pull on the lat pull down machine. This exercise is super effective at building strength for your one arm pull up. And I really love the cushion restricting your legs on this machine because that's gonna lock you in place and allow you to really emphasize and give a quality contraction on that one arm pull. So again, this could be used as a warm up to your one arm pull up that could be used as a drop set for your one arm pull-ups. And if you can't yet do a one arm pull-up, it's definitely gonna build the strength to be able to do it. Start off with the weight that you can handle and work with that and implement progressive overload. Over time, you wanna get stronger and slowly increase the amount of weight that you can pull with one arm. And eventually, you'll be able to do your own body weight and even more than that. And this exercise on this machine is gonna engage and build the same muscle groups when doing the one arm pull-ups. Your delts, biceps, brachialis, brachioradialis, forearm, lats, back, and every part of your core, like your obliques, your abdominals, and your erector spinae. So first thing, you wanna make sure you're secured and locked in place with the cushion pressed down on your legs. Next, you want to make sure you have a solid overgrip on the handle as much as you can so that you can have a greater emphasis on your pull. Make sure that you lean back again, just like the first two exercises so that you can emphasize on these pulling muscles as well. You want to use your opposing arm to push and support your body in place while your working arm pulls. And when you begin to pull, make sure that you pull all the way to your chest and even past it if you can using full range of motion. All right, this next exercise I try to do every week. That's going to be reverse leg extensions 
and it's specifically very effective for building the strength and keeping your lower back or your legs up and suspended off the ground whenever you're in a horizontal position, like the full planche, 90 degree handstand push-up, bent arm planche, back lever, Maltese, and a whole lot more advanced calisthenics exercises. So this move is definitely a must, and it's one of the best exercises for building your glutes and your lower back, and the strength in your posterior train required to be able to perform all these exercises and maintain your body in this straight line. And on your last rep of this exercise, I always like to hold it for as long as I can, which is simulating the exact same hold and position for all the advanced exercises I just mentioned. And another great thing about this exercise is that as you get stronger, you can actually put more weight by putting weight in between your legs. And this is something that you can't necessarily do when you're doing the calisthenics exercises. And that's why this gym equipment with this move is very beneficial for these calisthenics skills. When you start getting used to this with weight, you're gonna be able to hold your legs out extended for a lot longer and a lot more effortlessly, mastering the lower half support to all of these advanced calisthenics exercises. This is a machine specifically made to do reverse leg raises, but not all gyms have them. So if yours doesn't, you can always use the back extension machine or the hip thruster machine like I just did. Just make sure to put some weights on it so you don't fall over. Now this exercise is pretty self-explanatory. You just wanna get into position, raise your legs at least to a horizontal position. If you can go a little higher than that, even better. That'll give you a better contraction on your glutes and your lower back. And also keep in mind where you place the edge of the machine on your hip line is gonna affect the difficulty of this exercise. So the higher up it is and the more body you have hanging off the edge, the harder it's gonna be. And the less body and body weight you have hanging off, of course, the easier it's gonna be. So play with that, and as you get stronger, try to move further off the edge. For the next exercise, we're gonna stay on this machine and go for back extension rows. This exercise is gonna directly translate the strength to be able to do front lever pull-ups. And like I said about the last exercise, the more you're hanging off the edge of this machine, the more difficult it's gonna be. So keep that in mind if this is your first time trying it, and actually try to work towards that over time. Now this exercise is done just like a normal back extension if you've ever done one before. You start with your upper body hanging down from your hips, and then you raise your upper body up. When you do that and your body gets to a straight line, the contraction you feel in your back and your posterior chain is the same exact feeling when holding a front lever. And that's why I absolutely love this exercise. And from this position, you can pick up any amount of weight that you want and begin to row, which you can't really do when doing front lever pull-ups. You can only row as much as you weigh unless you do an easier progression like tuck front lever pulls and even still, it's hard to rep out. Doing this exercise, you're gonna easily be able to build your strength, working your way up the weights and pulling in the same exact movement path that you would in front lever pull-ups to your waistline area and back down. There's really not a better way to simulate the front lever pull-ups as effective as this exercise. So I highly encourage you to incorporate this exercise into your routine. All right, this next exercise is gonna be the exact opposite antagonist movement. We're gonna be going for the pseudo bench press, simulating the exact same body position and pressing motion from a full planche pushup and emphasizing on the same intended muscle group like your shoulders, chest, triceps, traps, abdominals, and even your lats, and a bit of your bicep, brachialis, and brachioradialis. And just like a full planche push-up, you wanna be in a horizontal position with your body hollowed out and pushing from your waistline. And when you get to the top of your rep, locking out your arms and coming back down to your waistline. So when you press up, you're not pressing up and coming to your chest. You actually should be pressing up and coming down while staying parallel with your waistline. And just like with full planche and full planche push-ups, you wanna make sure that your shoulders are protracted when doing this exercise, meaning that they're pushed forward. It's gonna be the most realistic simulation if your legs are raised and locked out similar to the boat hold position while doing this exercise but you can also try doing it with your feet down as well either to really get better at this exercise or to increase your weight and you should also practice the different grips with the barbell supinated and pronated both of these grips are used with planche push-ups on a straight bar and doing both of them will improve your planche pushing strength coming up next is an exercise i love to do to improve my handstand holds and that's overhead farmer walks with a plate or dumbbells when you're doing this exercise just like a handstand you're completely stacked with weight above your head and your arms locked out it's pretty much forcing you to be in perfect handstand position but the best part, like all these exercises, you don't have to hold your entire body weight over your head. And that can be beneficial for the many reasons we already covered. Whether you're recovering, you're warming up, you're creating a drop set, or you're just trying to increase your hold time or reps and get a better quality contraction, which will also improve the skill over time. So when doing this exercise, grab a weight and hold it directly over your head with your arms locked out and a tight grip and start walking. Or you can just stand there. And the more you do this, the stronger you're gonna get. And over time, when you start doing your handstands, you're gonna feel that you're a lot more lighter and they feel a lot more effortless. And your handstand is utilized for a lot of other exercises like your handstand push-up, 90 degree handstand push-up, even your one-arm handstand. So developing the strength in your handstand is gonna translate to so much more and that alone is worth incorporating this exercise. When doing the overhead farmer walks, just like your handstand, you're gonna be emphasizing on your back, your shoulders, your core, and your arms. And when holding the weight over your head, not only do you want it to be directly on top so that you're completely stacked, just like a handstand, but you also wanna be actively pushing it as high as you can, stretching as long as you can, just like in a handstand, and trying to get the weight that you're holding to the ceiling. Now, 
Now to add on to the last exercise, this one is really gonna improve your pushing strength in your handstand push-ups. That's gonna be standing military press with the barbell. Again, one of my favorite gym exercises, and I've been doing this one for years to really feel effortless when I'm pushing my handstand push-ups. And I can personally tell you that it really works because this was an exercise that really broke through me finally being able to do more than just 10 handstand push-ups in a row. Now this may not help you with balancing in your handstand or your handstand push-ups, but it will definitely be able to give you the strength and the power to rep them out like nothing. And just like every other exercise on this list, we're simulating the same movement path for the skill that we're training for, the handstand push-up. When doing this exercise, you actually wanna make sure that you're doing it with your elbows in. That's gonna emphasize on the intended muscle groups and utilizing better form with your triceps, your shoulders, your back, your core, and even your traps to support this exercise. So throughout the full range of motion for this exercise, just try to make it a point to not flare out your elbows. And you can also try this exercise supinated as well. You may feel it emphasizes even more on your frontal delts. And this is still a hand grip that could be utilized in calisthenic skills when you're pressing on a straight bar as well. And just like all the exercises on this list, you wanna incorporate progressive overload and slowly start to increase the weight over time. The only way to increase the weight on your handstand push-ups is to gain more weight or pick yourself up a weight vest at chrisharia.com. We have different weight vests of all colors, weights, and sizes. And having a weight vest is like having a whole gym in one piece of equipment. So if you do wanna take your training to the next level, make sure to stop by chrisharia.com and pick one up for yourself. It's a piece of equipment you'll be using to get an edge over every other athlete for the rest of your fitness journey. All right, coming up next is an exercise that's gonna give you insane straight arm strength. What is that? That's being able to hold your entire body weight with your arms locked out completely straight which is required for exercises like the full planche, Maltese, and even full planche push-ups. And this exercise is actually the best way to build your straight arm strength. I like to call them dumbbell lateral tap raises with a hold at the end of the last rep. The raising stimulates the strength and the motion that you'll need for raising into a full planche or Maltese, and the holding at the end translates the hold that you do for the actual move. And this is gonna build the same muscles in your shoulders, your core, your lats, and even your bicep, brachialis, and brachioradialis. So when doing this exercise, you first wanna start off with some very light weight to really get used to working with your arms straight and to build your straight arm strength. When working with your arms straight, you're gonna be also using your tendons and ligaments, and that takes a lot longer to build and it's more prone to injury. So you really wanna make sure to go slow when increasing your weight. Start by holding your dumbbells with a strong grip and supinated while protracting your scapulas forward as if you were simulating the same position of a Maltese or a full planche. Protruding your shoulders forward and exposing the ditch of your elbows while trying to get your hands as far away from your body as possible. All of those are gonna ensure that your arms are actually locked out. And that's very important because we're building our straight arm strength so when doing this exercise you want to make sure that you're not doing it even with a little bit of a bend in your arms it's important that you actually feel the pressure in the ditch of your elbow to ensure that your arm is actually locked out when raising and you're building your straight arm strength so from this position we're gonna squeeze our core squeeze our grip keeping perfect form and technique while raising the dumbbells to a horizontal position and eventually over your head and tapping them together from there you can begin to descend and really control the dissension so that your arms do not bend as they come down. And when your arms become straight out into a horizontal position, you wanna pause at least to that moment to solidify that hold and that straight arm. Really give a second squeeze, a second contraction in your grip, and then you can begin to come back down. And remember, on your last rep, you wanna hold that position for as long as possible. You could even try playing with your wrists, turning your hand more supinated or in a neutral position. And then eventually come back down, nice and slow and controlled with your arms straight, when you're done. Now for the last exercise on the list, we're gonna be going for straight arm frontal raises with the barbell in a bolt hold position and holding the last rep at the end. This move improves your planche to handstand press and your handstand to full planche, and it gets you insanely strong. Using the same movement paths and emphasizing on the same muscles, as well as form and technique with your arms straight and locked out, raising as you raise your upper body as well, keeping your legs straight out and engaging your core and your lower body. Now keeping your arms locked out and straight and pressing your entire body weight up and down takes an insane amount of strength. And even the most skilled athletes, sometimes they can do a lot more and sometimes they can do a lot less depending on the day. But with this exercise, you can use a lot less weight and still train the movement path and still strengthen the muscles that are gonna improve the skill set. And it's actually pretty hard to simulate this straight arm pressing movement, even with calisthenics. Because this move is pressing with your arms locked out, it's a lot easier to start with lighter weight. But when you're doing this with body weight, even a portion of your body weight may be a lot and will feel really tough. So if you're having trouble finding progress in that area, this will definitely find it for you. And as you get better at this exercise, you're going to be going up in weight, increasing your straight arm strength, your pressing strength, and making all straight arm pressing exercises a whole lot easier while having a lot more power. So to do this exercise, you want to really start off in a bolt hold position with your legs off the ground and your upper back off the ground in a hollowed out position and holding the barbell with your arms completely extended and locked out above your waistline. And on your last rep, when you're coming down, try to hold that starting position again, solidify that squeeze, Keep your arms locked out and give a second contraction, a second squeeze in your hands and hold it for as long as possible. This is gonna simulate the position of a full planche hold. 
And if you're having trouble holding the weight with your arms extended, locked out, you can also try holding the barbell a little higher up so it's not as far to your waistline. And over time, you'll be able to hold it further out. But from this position, you wanna to begin to raise and press with your upper body until you get all the way to the top while maintaining your arms locked out. Once you get to the top, you can begin to descend your body and eventually your arms back to the original position while maintaining perfect form. So that's gonna be my list of gym exercises that's gonna get you better at calisthenics. If you enjoyed the video, I'd really appreciate it if you smash that like button. Comment down below what you'd like to see in the next video or if you have any questions with these exercises, I'll be in the comment section. And subscribe if you haven't already with bell notifications on. We post videos just like this every single Monday at 11 a.m. USA Eastern Time. And if you comment within 30 minutes of any upload, you're always gonna have a chance to win some free Thenx gear. And also for workouts getting you in the best shape of your life and taking your skills to the next level and even mixing some of these exercises into your workout routines, definitely download the Thenx app in the App Store or Google Play Store. Become a Thenx member and get full access to all our workouts, workout programs, and technique guides that teach you all these advanced skills like the full planche, muscle up, human flag, and so much more step by step. And you'll also join our Thenx community of millions of Thenx athletes around the world, posting, motivating each other, and getting in the best shape of our lives using these same routines all on the Thenx app. And if you enjoyed this video, check out this next one. You're not going to regret it, and it's going to take your training to the next level. I'll see you there. Mad love. Peace out.